be a homemade wraps I did a few years ago before I even have a welder. So this is why there's some bolts here and there. So I had to cut the material all bolted and go to the welder to uh, uh, make the assembly. I did add these supports a few years ago for the fenders and this makes some reinforcing on the rubs. Well actually I say rubs but I actually the, the first goal of that bar was to hold the lights in the first time and over the years then it came became became the uh, rubs. But it's not exactly what it could be because uh, this is 3 16 of an inch thick uh, iron angle and it's not strong enough to uh, provide some protection, some proper protection. So I'm going to beef up this section here, beef up the bolts. I'm going to go from a half inch bolt to three quarter of an inch bolt, graded steel. And I'm going also to add some uh, reinforcing at the back and some gas at the, at the top, so hopefully this uh, rubs will be uh, able to provide any uh, kind of protection if ever anything happened. So it could be possible that this one could have a, a resist, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to make a modification, put some painting before I do reassemble this. So from a other point of view, so you can see the half inch bolts, they could not be removed because this one was added later. So I have to cut these bolts in large holes. I'm going to uh, beef up this uh, material. I might do some gusting in between those. And last, I add some material at the back where I can fit some uh, material. And that's pretty much it. Okay, this is a three quarter of an inch by two inches flat bar. I'm going to cut length of nine inches in which there will be the holes to clamp down the, uh, the uh, wraps onto the axle. I'm going also to duplicate those to beef up the base of the wraps to make sure that the uh, bolts will hang in something really uh, beefy. I'm going to cut four length of nine inches. While I'm there, these are the plates that were used for the front end loader. I could see some yellow on it, which means it might have been on other industrial uh, machine before you can see it's roughly cut and the worst part is that there's a weld in the middle of this plate which push against the uh, axle which is not a good surface of contact i'm going to make new uh, plates for those too well, i just have to confirm that the spacing is proper Six and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to make new plates for those two. One, two, three, four.
For the next part, I'm going to make a three quarter of an inch holes in three quarter of an inch thick plates. On six plate, two holes, it's about time to wake up the beast. So I'm new with this, this machine. This will be the first time I use this machine and this will be also the first time I use a milling. Uh, as for now, this is a regular check inside because I'm going to do some uh, holes only. I'm not going to uh, make any milling, but actually this is a really much tougher machine than my press drill. So I confirm that everything is in order working. Okay, I have to lower this because it's 50 on it. This. Okay. rotating right direction this is direction I'm going to go to um, grill mode okay that it is this Berlin, right? This next the speed. I'm going to go to now it's at one and low. One low one low two. Fine. Seems good. I'm going to start with a smaller hole. Five sixteen would be good. That's a key. There's a key going along with this, but it's not the proper size. I might use it anyways today. This is the back of the uh, wraps. This is where I put the grill. So this is a protection against any uh, rope or chain that would break. So it protects me. I had the system to attach this that was a pain to install. I'm going to uh, weld some nuts so I can put this pretty quickly. And I'm going to figure to have some reinforcement in that section there. I could not reinforce in the, at the front because there are some uh, there's the fenders, but here, this is all the uh, length I could reinforce. I could not go inside, not this way, not this way, this is only uh, side I could uh, reinforce something. So I'm going to put some 2x2, two two. I'm going to grind these welds to make sure that the uh, tube is going to fit, I'm going to uh, fit the ends of the tube at an angle and maybe close the opening to just make sure that there's no, uh, no nothing going inside.
Okay, I got the uh, bottom reinforcement welded. The gusset inside in between those two uh, iron angles. I have the back reinforcement welded, capped. Next thing is to uh, weld those uh, gussets there and there. And while I'm there, I'll show you. This is the uh, subplate that will go along with this one to bolt on the axle. But the axle is not really much square. It looks square, but it's not quite square. So I have those small tabs here and there to make sure that I have a good uh, surface of contact. I shoot that on the tractor. What's looking like a flat surface is not really much flat. Might be at this end, but not even. So if you put a piece of steel like this, looks good like this, but you can't see it balanced because there's a high spot at the middle. It's a little bit crowned. You can see more like this. And the previous clamp I have for the um, front air loader has the uh, top plate being bent over the uh, axle, but this one is not going to bend anymore. I'm going to add those small tabs like this. Like this. So I get a really good stable clamping surface and while I'm going to clamp really much more stronger than what it was before with half inch bolt I don't want to push against the middle of this casting I'm going to push against these uh, side walls of the casting which will be stronger too. So that will be the clamp for the front end roller. Uh, actually this one will be for the um, wraps and here would be for the front end loader but to be able to put them easily and not moving like this I'm going to weld them just under those uh, plates Those are the bolts that I put inside because I have knots I welded behind. I don't want to have any splatters in the uh, threads. That's why I put those small bolts in. So next is to install the uh, <coughs> rocks. So what I will need is the, those two pieces that I prepare on the side and the bolts. So I use a thick out of an inch graded bolt. At this point I guess that it will be holding enough.
Okay, the issue is that uh, the spacing at the top and the bottom was not the same and I decided to make gussets so that they are perfectly straight but I do remember that they could not fit because of this. So I adjusted this one to clear so there's a half of an inch, not more than that but on this one you can see it's uh, grabbing on the uh, bar so I have to spread it and I should spread it at least an inch by eye. So I put a small jack there. So I did way more than an inch. So I'm taking the reference in between this surface and the inner surface. Yeah, it should be a little bit small. Yeah, the radiator is overflowing big time. So I do the same on the other side. 